we are heading on out today, going out with my my bar, my boy Chris, who's back there, recently retired from the Air Force, and he's out there with uh, with Miss Elizabeth. So, Chris, we gonna get him today? We are. We are, right? We better. We better. All right, there you go. So, all right, follow us. It's gonna be a very interesting day. Come on, fish on. Nice. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Oh, other fish on. We got, we got other fish on. We got, we got, we're doubled up. Doubled up. Doubled up, baby. Oh, came out of the water. Out of storage. Out of storage. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to shut her down. Little guy. The little one? Oh, he looked, he, I thought he was a keeper. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. What? He's not bad. <laughs> nice. I knew we saw them. Man, they're like bluefish with this blood. Oh, they throw it all over the damn place. <laughs> What's the bucket for? I you put them in there so they calm down and you can kind of yeah. All right, get the hook out or whatever. We're gonna have to measure him up. He might be close. Hey. There we go. All right, we're in the mahi here. That's a good one. Pop it in there for a second. I'm gonna go get the. I'm gonna go get the measuring stick so we can make sure that uh, we're keeping the right. <laughs> Yo. That's the way we do it. <laughs> All right, so let's see if he's 20 or not. Where is 20 on here? So here's 20. Now is there? That's a the fork. So he is this this little guy is short. Chuck him back. Damn it. Yeah, he's not spread out. Short, this guy might make it. Here. Still would like a natural with my first one. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do let's definitely do that. Ooh-wee! Look at that. Close your mouth, buddy. Close your damn mouth. Wink. He is, oh my god, he's like just, just, just shy. Uh. Another fish on. Woohoo! Hey, are these rags loose on purpose? Ah, uh, you can tighten it a little bit if you want. I keep them like that just in case we get like a monster and we don't want to. Uh... Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bigger than the uh, than the other one, you think? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Or is it because we're moving? Well, that's a good point. You might be right about that. I gotta get this away from you. Oh. All right, hold on, hold on. Where are we here? Oh yeah, that's a bigger fish. Just let him go. What the hell we got going on here? We don't want to lose this fish. Hang on a second. You might have a lot of weed on there now. All right, so where are we? Where are we crossed? Are we still crossed? Yeah. Yeah, we are. But how? Which way? Can you tell? I can if I get a little bit. Yeah, let me bring it closer to you. Yeah. Over that way. One, two, there we go. We're free, you're free. Get him. Get him. I don't know if you got all fish or if there's all fish and weed. Is he, is he gone now? Yeah, it feels like, oh, no, I see him. He's just small. He was taking line, though, I thought. I don't think we need a gaff, right? Oh, no. He's small. Oh, there he is. Let's see if he's got any buddies with him. Let me see. Wow, he's the smallest. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, big. you did mention about, well, we're not really running past right? What's that? You did mention letting them swim. Yeah, but I don't see, I think we, we pulled him path. off. Yeah, we pulled him off. So his buddies left him. Look how pretty they are though. I 
I mean, they're just beautiful. I know. Keep them in there for a second. There we go. All right. We're going to go back and go get your buddies next. We need mom is what we need. We do. Go get big. Lord. Another fish on. <laughs> man. Well, that's, the lead, that's the spot, yeah, right there, man. Let's see if he comes with friends this time. That, yeah, the biggest ones we got were off that first weed patch. So there we go. It's our famous little lure. It's still there. It's just tiny. Oh yeah, I see him. <laughs> Reminds me of yesterday. Ooh, where did he just spit out? I oh, I see it now. So look, look, look to your left. He spit out a pilchard like a oh, little. Wow. Nice. That guy with the backhoe yesterday. Fucking <laughs> shaking the metal off. And now we're at the point of catching lots of fish, but now we need to catch bigger fish. You know how that goes. Miles. Yep. This might be a keeper. This might be tonight's dinner. Yes. I see a bird over there working too. I know what you meant about seeing him underneath the grass now. Did you see him? Oh yeah. Did he come out? No, not him, other ones. Other ones, okay. So there, yeah, there's a, there's a school there. Yeah. All right, we're getting a little, uh, little. he's coming out of the water. That's good. I'm guessing that's important to keep this tight. I would keep it tight, otherwise he'll shake it. Especially when they come out of the water. He's all lit up. Look at him. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Get him out. There you go. Good job. Woo. Okay, hold tight. Move, move, move back. Loosen the line or what? Nope. Get in here, Bubba. Oh, yeah. That's a keeper of that. Oh, yeah. You got yourself a keeper there. Look at, look at him. Look at him. Look at the colors. Awesome. Look how pretty he is. I love how they change like that. No, they light up as they fight. And he is just pretty. Let's just be sure on him. Yeah, I think, we're, I think you're way good. No doubt. No doubt about that. He's at almost at 23. Keep on. Right. Another one on. Damn. Oh, man. He's going into those engines. Get him out. There you go. Good job. Poof. Yeah, he's probably right. Let's see if I can get him off and gone. Without hooking me. I'd appreciate it if you don't hook me. Yeah, it is. Man, they just, they, they are feeding, man. Look at that. What do they gotta be? 20. I think he's like, he's really close. Don't let him nope. go. Another fish on, fish on, fish on! <laughs> yeah. Love it. Ah, you saw him first. I mean, that was great. Good one or what? Oh, there he is. Never tell, right? Okay. Yep. I think he's just under again, but he's still a nice, nice fighting fish. A lot of schoolies come out. Oh, he, he got hit. Did he get hit? He got bit. Yeah, I think I see a bite on him. He might be. He might be a Close. Right. They are Boy. something, aren't they? They are. Woo! Feel that muscle. <laughs> that is they muscle. Are He's been working out. Seriously. <laughs> they stopped beating you. Slapping your ass earlier. Yeah, that's a good way. Okay. What do you think? Close mouth, all the way up to the front. Oh, that's 36. Oh, yeah. We're bass backwards. Can we just flip it? Oh, duh. Move it a little bit further. 19. You there? Yeah, I'm, I'm over even a little bit. Okay, then he's good. Yeah, he's good. He's good.
Another keeper on board. Thank you, Lord, for that beautiful fish. Absolutely, absolutely. Beautiful fish it is. I was praying when I got the hit. As I was last time. Somehow, somehow that's working. I forgot. <laughs> what is this, by the way? It's like something you spit out the squid. But who knows? What is it? I don't know. It looks like an eel. Ah. A little tiny eel. All right. Yeah. So you found a good spot. A little gray trigger. Go hit that too. With this? Yeah, because we're in we're in much shallower water now than we were before. And the current is moving pretty quick too. Have you ever tried to trick a fish or is that just something that people don't hear? No, no, they do. But they gotta be certain size, there's a season for them. And uh, there are some people who just, I mean, they just, well, you like them that much, huh? I mean, we eat them and they're great. Uh, anything that's on the bottom, believe it or not, everything hits these jigs, man. Everything. Weird. And they don't get snagged, huh? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. I mean, they look like they're 20 bucks, so I, I you know. <clears throat> oh, you're talking about the jigs on the bottom? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watched a lot of jigs down there. These ones in particular, no? I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Depends on what that bottom looks like, you know. That's why you bounce it off the bottom and try to keep it up off the bottom. All right. And basically, you're using that reel as, a, as like, like a little winch. You got no color yet. You got to remember, you were down like 100, what, 200? How far are we? 139, that's not too bad. Whatever you are. Here it comes, here it comes. Red snapper. So you got a small mutton snapper. They're gonna be 18 inches, so he's short, but still that's a really good catch. The mutton snappers are good. That's huh. that's a that, that's a quality fish here. Nice. Pretty, right? Yeah, yeah. A little copper and I like that, that, that blue line. Yeah, beautiful, cool. beautiful fish. Reminds me a little bit of a red. Yeah, they are they are pretty close. Well, watch out because you got hooks top end bottom. Yeah, boat. Yeah, we're trying to get you out. <laughs> we're trying to let you go, man. All right. Yeah. You just kind of nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that doesn't feel good. It's good. <laughs> Very good. That was a good. I saw that hit. You got it. <clears throat> it's my favorite way of fishing, man. Is it? It is. I love it, man. I've caught some big, big grouper. I mean, I've got a wahoo. Wahoo, you huh? never know, man. You have no, just like right now, you have no idea what's on the other end of that thing. Not a there it comes. Why are you coming up quick? Trigger? Yep. Yep. Load the trigger. It must be down there. It must be loaded. Yeah. All right. He gets to go home. Let's see. Let's see. There he goes. Gone. Yeah, there's your cat. There you go. Nice. First one on the jig. Look at you. Nice. Now let's see what let's see what the bottom looks like, and then whether or not we need to stay here. Oh, it's a fish show down there. So just drop it back down. I guess this setup works. It works. Slow pitch jigging. I bet you kill them up there where you guys are in North Carolina. You're probably right. You are probably right. 
Anytime you see fish on the machine, you drop it down and boom. So me and my son Chris today went out. We went out today and we 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 got mahi. How That's many did we get? Mahi. How many did we get? Like maybe five, six. Five or six is right. I think we got like five or six. We got two keepers. That'll be dinner. We'll do a catch and cook tonight. Ah. I, got, I got two keepers. Just saying. Curses. <laughs> It's true, you got the keepers. Ah, but I did the captaining and put them on there. Yes. So, so there's there's something to be said for that. That is true. And then we did a little bit of uh, of uh, slow pitch jigging. Got his first two fish. Got a mutton and what? And a trigger. A trigger fish. I told you everything, everything, everything hits the jig. Even you. Yes. You hit the jig. Successful today. slow jigging. First one. That's Good it. to go. So, starting, starting to kick up a little bit, getting towards the uh, late late afternoon. We're gonna head back. Thanks a lot for following us. We're gonna do a catch and cook. We'll see you later. So we're gonna do the uh, catch and cook part of this thing. So we got the mahi, but guess what we found inside the mahi? They were both females, and we found a bunch of roe. And so Chris, my son, said he loves roe out of lobster. And so we're gonna try to cook this up in a little bit of butter, a little bit of wine, and see if he likes it. So that's what uh, that's what this part is. But the good, well, this might be the best part, you know, we're going to find out. So a little bit of butter. I'm going to put a little bit of extra wine in there just because I want to poach it a little bit. I want to burn it. You can smell the butter, right? You guys can't, but we can. So we're just going to kind of poach it a little bit, put a little cover on there, and just kind of cook it through. I, totally, completely an experiment. I have no idea how this is going to taste. This could be wonderful, and it could be... Uh, yeah, something we never want to try again. On the other hand, we're going to do some mahi that we caught fresh today. Here we go. So here is our catch of the day that you saw Chris and I catch. Got it all cleaned up really nice. Got the choicest pieces. So here's my ingredients. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm just, I'm just winging this and I'm just going to kind of put it together and I'm hoping that it tastes really good. So the first thing we're going to do is I've got a really nice pan out. I've got some butter and I've got some olive oil. I'm gonna kind of melt that down. And then I'm just gonna lay the fillets in it and I'm gonna kind of spice it up with everything you see here. So I definitely wanna put some capers in. We definitely wanna put some, some white wine. And then the rest of it is just gonna be kind of a wing it. And, um, and then I just, I, just, I just hope and think that it's gonna be good. So we'll see. And of course you already saw me make the roe. So the roe is done and it's got um, um, just, just some nice butter and a little bit of, of white wine. And guess what we're gonna do with that? We're gonna put some on Chris's plate right now. And we're gonna see if he likes this or not. Hey, Chris, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so here you go. Here is some, like chicken. some lovely, looks like chicken. It like, like that. a chicken strip. It does. All right, that's all I'm giving you for now because if you think it's wonderful, you can have some more, but if you think it's terrible. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. That is all right, well, go right ahead. Yeah, let's give it a give it a let's do it. Give it, give it a try. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Looks a little dry, actually. Texture? It's good. It tastes really? like scrambled eggs. No, come on, really? It does to me. <laughs> It's excellent either way, but okay. Well, it is scrambled. It is scrambled eggs. I mean, it even looks like <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. it is. Right? There, there you have it. There you have it. Tastes like scrambled eggs. Scrambled mahi eggs. While Chris eats his scrambled eggs, I am going to uh, begin the process of the white wine mahi. We're playing this by ear. Wing it. Is that still good or are you just making that up? No, it's very good. No kidding. Okay. Are I you going to try a bite of it? I'm, I'm going to have to try a bite of it. I can't not. No. I cannot not. But we will, we'll try it after I cook this over here. So. so that's going on over there. And this going on over here. I should take a bite of it now, though. While the butter melts. Listen, I'm not a big fish guy. You guys know that. So, uh, all right. Look at it, I'm taking a big piece, a big, this is the mahi roe. It looks like scrambled eggs. Well, it literally is scrambled eggs. I just want to let you know I'm not happy about this. <laughs> You're not a big fish guy. I'm not a big fish guy. 
Hmm. Hmm. That's actually pretty damn good. Wow. Not fishy. Not fishy at all. Oh, not at all. Right? Not fishy. Not even a little. Wow. Okay. This is actually good. You guys should try this. Mahi Ro, pull the whole row out, the whole sack of it. Just put it in a little pan with some butter and a little bit of white wine. And just reduce it down, and that's it. And brown it. The whole side browns up nice. All right, this is, this is starting to rock and roll here, though. So we got to get this thing moving. All right. All right, so that is good. I'm glad, I'm, glad we, I'm glad you thought about that. All right, so here is my idea. I'm going to lay this in here. A lot of the restaurants down here. Chris was out the other day. This is, this is kind of sort of what he had. Mahi and like a white wine sauce. I'm going to modify it, though. I'm going to put some capers in it. And this is a lot here. Okay. I think that's about it for now. I'm going to put a little salt on the whole thing. I'm going to throw a little garlic on here. A little garlic powder. Not a lot, not a ton. I'm going to get some black pepper. It's all about the flavor. Just melding the flavors together. There we go. Yeah, I think I got that so far. I'm going to wait for the capers. I want to flip them. Then I want to put some wine in there. Capers. Maybe even a little bit. I, I, for some reason, I want to put some Parmesan cheese in there. I don't know why, but I do. And just, we're just waiting for this to cook halfway through. Might be time to put a little wine in there so the butter doesn't burn. All right, so I'm going to dash it. Elizabeth's making a big face. That was not a dash. <laughs> that was at least a quarter of a cup. That was a heavy, it was a heavy splash. It was a quarter. And now I got a heavy splash myself. <laughs> oh my. Mm. All right. All right, so basically I think, I think what I'm thinking is, is that basically this is a saute right now. Or is it a poach? I think it's a poach. Yeah, I think it's a poach. All right, so I'm going to pump it up a little bit because I want it to really kind of poach around. You know, poach around. All right, here we go. I'm going to do the flip. And once I get them flipped, then we're going to finish it up with all the rest of the spices and the capers and everything else. The capers in here. Elizabeth, do you think we need more wine? No. <laughs> I think we have to call it drunken wine. <laughs> Ooh. All right, this is crazy, but I'm gonna throw a little, I'm gonna throw a little of this bay in there. Not a lot. It's kind of like an old bait, but it's gonna make it a little spicy. I'm just throwing it in there. I, I, I just have a feeling that this is gonna make it a little bit, a little bit better, a little spicy. All right, that's it. That's enough. It should be cooking through. I can smell it. All right, I'm gonna give it a little shake. I'm gonna reduce it a little bit. I have to throw a little bit of paprika. I have to. This has to be done. It gives it a little color. Makes it look pretty. And. I ain't eat it. Parsley and fish. Always. All right, so, so Chris is voluntarily getting more, uh, more of the rub. Look at that. Spices. Here we go. Quinoa and kale. Quinoa and kale. Yeah. And Chris has the same. Yes. Quinoa and kale. And then what's this? Arugula salad. All right. All right, guys. Give it a taste. I have to know. Okay. Truthfully. For our viewers, this way you guys can either copy this or say, stay far away. I'm watching. There's number one. Number one. Okay, I'll be honest. I thought it was going to taste boozy. 
because you put so much wine in there. But it really doesn't. It doesn't. So if you get a little heavy handed on the wine, it's actually okay. And I think it's very good. Okay. So we got one, one, one okie dokie. Chris, what do you think? Very good. Very tender. Can't mm. even taste the wine. Okay. So. so here's the question that we always ask ourselves. If we were in a restaurant, would we pay for this meal? I would. Yeah, I agree. Ah. I'm just not a big fish guy. I think kidding. you're going to really like it. It's very good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. So, all right, we'll see. Hmm. Okay. 100%. I'm in. Mm. Yeah, right. It's like refreshing. It's almost kind of Mediterranean-ish, right? With the capers and the mm -hmm. lemon. It's all really fresh ingredients. It tastes really nice. The lemon. A good really summer nice recipe. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, light. That's the word. Very light. And you know what? Mm. It goes together great with a bunch of this. <laughs> mm. Okay. So I'm happy with this. That was a great day we did fishing today. today. Right? I think, and of course, here's the real deal. The real, I, I have to say, here's the real deal. He, he caught them both. <laughs> <laughs> he caught them both. Both keepers today. Shit, well, thank <laughs> <laughs> dinner, dinner, yeah. Dinner's, dinner on Chris tonight. I was going to say, thank goodness for Chris because we're eating dinner uh, now. And listen, even though he went Air Force and he did a whole career in the Air Force. Much better. You know, much better than much better my than Army career. Bad. We love him. We love him. He's, you know, aim high. He, he, he aims high today. Anyway, thank you very much for following us. You know the deal. Elizabeth's going to tell you how much we love you. Yeah, we love you guys. Drop your comments below. If you have recipe that you love uh, for mahi, leave it in the comments. We'd love to try your recipe on our next video. So thank you so much. And if you have not subscribed yet, I don't know what you're doing. Go subscribe right now. And uh, you know what to do. Follow us. Follow us. She knows better than not to have you seen me today spend some time with both of us <laughs> together she's afraid worn right out. Though. yeah that's it already worn out yeah, that's it. we put it through too much already actually she's going to be editing the video that you guys are going to be seeing next so all right follow us it's going to be a very interesting day damn well better be <laughs> all right dumb I'll have, uh, I'll have uh, Elizabeth edit that out. <laughs> the bigger the better. And, and that is what she said. Because she looks like he might be close. Ouch. Oh, <laughs> Spanking your ass over there. Did you like that? <laughs> that feels really good. How does good. that feel? Wow, I'm loving that. That was, that was nice. I'll take that one home. Look at that, huh? He knows. He knows how to act. Order? Me? Yeah. No. Thank you. I'm good. It wasn't really a question. Oh. You like cold or warm? Who? You. I don't like water. <laughs> what do you want to drink? There's a yellow thing in there someplace. A yellow thing? Yeah, but yellow. Right. Oh. oh, Corona. No, no, no. Collagen water. <laughs> <laughs> the yellow Although thing. there are a couple of yellow Coronas in there. That, that is true. I'm hoping that it tastes really good and that Elizabeth and Chris go, it's good even if it's not. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so anyway, oh, look, I found my phone. Oh my God, you are <laughs> kidding me. Thank you, Lord, for this row. May it not hurt me. <laughs> Amen. All right, very good. All right. So the first Stop thing we do, the first it's thing we're going to do. It's almost like the leg slapping. Yeah, it is exactly. It's, a, a, it's a transition. Florida, I'm not a big fish guy couple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go. I have no idea if this is going to be a good dinner tonight or not. All right. Now it's your turn. Oh, do I have to? Oh.